Welcome back to Writing Done Right. Well, today we are going to talk about LibreOffice and making labels and business cards. Thanks for tuning in. I am Tom Morosky, an author and a technology consultant. And today we are going to return to LibreOffice and do something a little bit different. Rather than focus on typesetting tutorials, I want to show you how you can use the built-in system to produce labels and business cards. Why might you want to do this? Well, if you're shipping out books from your office location, you want to have return labels. You can do this easily without having to go online and download the templates and then figure out how to get everything in there. They have a simple system inside of LibreOffice to uh, develop and print these business cards and labels. We're going to show you how you can do that. So let's head on over to the computer and I'll show you the steps. All right, so here we are over on the computer and uh, we have booted up LibreOffice. Now, this is the LibreOffice base. So if you're on Windows or on Linux, you can actually go in and under your office, you can open each individual application up. But we also have the base application here as well. Uh, you Mac users will only have the base application available to you. So that's what we've opened up here because this is kind of our starting point. What we're going to do from here, uh, whether you're doing uh, business cards or labels, come on down to the file menu, hit new. And then down here at the bottom, you're going to see one for labels and one for business cards. These are going to function the exact same way. And so we'll just kind of focus on one of them. So let's pull out labels. When we have labels, we have a few options here. We can enter in basic label text. We don't actually have to. We can just go ahead and create it blank if we want. If you do already know what your labels are, and of course for labels, you probably just enter this in. For uh, business cards, you probably just want to start with a blank. And uh, what we're going to do here then is you can indicate address or not. This is actually going to pull from your address from your system. So if you're doing business labels for something else, whatever. So uh, my publishing company, uh, OWIC Publishing, and you know you can give it your PO box there, whatever that would be, and then your town, any town. Uh, let's do AS, any state, or Arkansas, I don't know. So you can go ahead and enter whatever information there that you want. Now, if you are working with databases, so you can actually integrate this with a database link in as well. So this is good for a mailing list, a print mailing list as well. You can do tables, you can do database fields. Now, what's the important part is going to be is our brand. We come down here and we can grab our brand. Now, most of these are very compatible with each other. We have Avery, A4, Tower, Avery letter size are going to be your most popular. Now, you may not find the exact label number, but you very well may. So look around for your numbers there, and uh, they're going to go up sequentially. If you don't find something that's exactly on your on your label, figure out what it is. So here's a 3 by 4, um, 2 and a quarter by 3 and a half. So you can find something that's similar to it, and you can actually do some manual adjustments to it. So let's just kind of start out and find a basic address label. So what I did here is I just went ahead and uh, just grabbed some Avery labels that I have. And uh, the one that I actually have here that I use, I have a um, 18160. But if you, look at the, um, if you look at the label here, it says use Avery template 5160. So we're going to come down and find 5160 if it's in here. We're going to confirm this is a 3 by 10. And uh, this will give us the approximate dimensions. So it says here uh, one inch by two and five eighths. And if we look at uh, 0.63, that should be about two and five eighths. So this is basically the one that we have. So we're going to come over here to our format. This one here, if you need to make any uh, tweaks or adjustments, and uh, we'll show you how to use this here in just a moment, you can go ahead and uh, look at that. And then down here, you want to make sure this synchronized contents is enabled. This is going to give us a separate pop-up box that's going to give us just a simple, hey, push button, and we're set to go. You can do a single label if you're just doing a single or an entire page. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and print out a whole page of these for me. So let's go ahead and hit my new document. And now it's going to open up our writer document. You can see what we have here. And of course, this may not be the, the prettiest. So let's go ahead and just make some adjustments. Maybe we might want to use a different font for it. 
uh, just make sure that you're not bleeding out of the, the content of the label. And let's go with, um, let's see how this looks. Eh, that's too fancy. Let's just go with our too big and just drop the size down a little bit. So here we have the ability now to um, to push our labels out. You can kind of see where the top's going to be, where the bottom's going to be. And now if we push this little synchronized content, it's going to synchronize out our labels. Now what this is probably going to do, if uh, you always want to do a quick test print first, make sure that uh, make sure that everything is printing out right. These might actually print out uh, a little bit high on the page. So if I were to go ahead and print these guys out right now, they might be sitting a little bit higher on the page. So you might want to come in and do is just come in and just adjust your uh, your margins a little bit. Okay, so again, what I did to fix that, how it was spacing it out, because it, the originally it was done with a separate character line, delete the character space, hold shift and enter instead of enter, and that gives you a line break and not a paragraph break. So now I can space my above paragraph. So now we're actually pretty centered, hit synchronize labels, and now we are good to go. So we can go ahead and print out our labels and do that. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about the case of what's going to happen if you don't have the exact label. So let's go ahead and delete this. We're not going to save our document. Let's go back into our new and labels. And the other label that I have here is going to be a 81294, which gives me 60 smaller labels. And it says use Avery template 5195. And if I look for 5195, I see that 5195 is not in here. So what I actually want to do is I want to start by finding one that's close. So this is actually giving me a 4 by 15 grid. So let's go ahead and start with this for, uh, I don't know, there's one thing. Here's a 2 by 15. So these are point, um, these are, what is this, uh, 0.54 by 3.44. This one actually might be good. I was going to do the uh, 4 by 20, but I think it might actually be better, easier to tweak the, four, the 2 by 15. That way we're just tweaking our columns out and not our height. So let's go ahead and stick with this one. And now you can kind of see what these guys are going to look like. Let's just up the columns to 4. And we then want to drop. What we're going to do is we're going to look at our, we have our horizontal pitches, we have our top margins, we have our vertical pitches. So your margins are the non-printable spaces and your pitch is the space between the labels and then we have, we have, have the height and the width of it. Okay, so what I end up doing is you get yourself a ruler and get yourself, um, open up the paper there, and now you can, utilizing the information here, measure the left margin, which is the edge of the paper, to the start of the first label. Measure your horizontal pitch, which is the start of the label, to the start of the next label. And then you're going to measure the top margin, top of the paper to the top of the start of uh, the first label. Measure the vertical pitch, which is the height of the label to the height of the next label. You'll see here that uh, my labels are, are overlapping. That's exactly because there's no space in between them on my two here, so that's perfect. And now when I filled everything out, make sure my pages and all are set. Now we're going to go ahead and resave this in our 5195 so I can use it for later. Verify our synchronized contents there. And now we are good. So now um, what we want to do is, in this case, we probably will not want to do anything else as far as mes messing with the height or the width or anything. And then you can, of course, adjust your fonts and things if you'd like to. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, let's do something like this one here. That one's coming too close to the bottom of the label there, so I don't like that. Well, let's. I like the font. Let's just drop the label size down a little bit. Synchronize across all labels, and now you can be able to print your label out without any problems. This should match out well. Of course, every time you're printing out labels, I recommend print out your first run of labels on a blank piece of paper and then just kind of hold it up overlapping with your labels and make sure everything is good before you go ahead and, uh, and make any adjustments. So there's how you can do your labels. Let's just go ahead and look at our uh, new and let's just have a look at our business cards. And you're going to see here much the same way. You're just going to pick your type of cards. You're going to pick your template uh, format there. And then you can put in your information here. 
or you can just kind of leave it as it is. Here's your basic information. You can put all this in, and then you can actually come in here and populate fields based upon the, the data that you have there as well. Or, of course, you can use uh, data as well. Once again, making all your adjustments the same way, synchronized content, and now you're set to go. So now you can use LibreOffice for business cards or print labels without having to download any labels and running uh, within a, a good, clean system. And then, of course, you can save your templates for your favorite label types if those templates do not already exist. So uh, hopefully this will help you out in uh, your managing your business and self-publishing. Let me know if this helped you out. And I hope that we have taught you how to get your writing done right now.